prop face to the. Oh wait, how do I say? It? I'm recording now, so keep it clean. <laughs> I'm recording now. <laughs> <laughs> Your question: We're talking about we're talking about the what now? The NICs goes on. NICs. The so you're gonna of the take off this, yeah. off the taper crank, the wipe out crank. the blue stuff. Got it. Put some anti seize on here and a little bit on the taper crank okay. and slide it on. And why do we do that? So it does not sneeze yeah. sneeze on there. No, you don't want it to sneeze on there. That's how you get the COVID. All right, we, we clear a taper crank. As good as it's going to get. All right, no, we're on D now. D, spline shafts. And we talked about this back in engines anyway, so this is like review. <clears throat> nah, that's what I got there. Okay. Spline shafts. Remember the spline shafts? I don't have pictures of it. Have the spline shafts. Um, those are used on higher horsepower engines, so well over 65, 75. Probably up in the uh, uh, radials used them. So, uh oh, it refroze. Used on um, higher. Nope, it's dying. It's dying. Ain't gonna work. Maybe that's just the key. Used on higher horsepower engines. Um, there's some radial, radials, definitely. Higher horsepower engines, radials. And some other ones, let's see. Um, you will find on them a master spline. going well. Nope. All right, often includes a master spline. Nope, it is not the tablet. And that fit in. We master spline. Uh, okay, what is a master spline? Let's go with that. <coughs> So you have a spline shaft with all the splines going down it. Let me see. Well, I'm not going to spend time looking at the pictures. And the master spline on that one will have, we have all of the splines going around the shaft. You will have one with a little screw in it. And that little screw means that you can't slide something in between the little splines. So then you will look on the hub, and the hub will have a, uh, a, a slot, yeah, a slot where that won't go in there. So it'll be like missing a missing a piece in there. So that's where it goes together. So you have the master spline and the um, on the crankshaft and one on the hub that's missing a tooth, so to speak. And that's how that's going to get indexed. You really can't screw that one up. It just isn't going to go on. Oh, somebody will figure a way to screw it up. But um, <laughs> yeah, I know. Challenge accepted. Kevin, watch this. Yeah. <laughs> you got a big enough hammer. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I just changed to like. There we go again. I know, this is not going well. Oh, that's really big. Okay. Oh, look at that. That does something right there. If you're just joining us, life sucks. Okay. Uh, all right. Oh, we talked before about how they actually make go, no go gauges for these splines. You put them, I've never actually got to use one of those. Uh, but there are some questions in your Q&A that talk about the cones. I should get a cone. I have a cone. Very large cone. And so what happens is these cones have to go on to these 
spline shafts, shaft coming out, and that's going to center the hub that comes on the propeller. The propeller hub's going to center on this. This goes on the splines, the shaft, that goes, and it's going to center it. But your questions in the Q&A, they talk about um, what happens when cones bottom. And what we do, we'll look at this picture right over here. And this is the cone right here, this dark. And so what's happened is we've, they've put the hub on. This is the hub here. And that hub is not touching any of the black. It hit this face right here. And so what would happen, you've tightened the thrust nut on. And when this surface starts to wear a little bit, then the whole thing is going to get loose and wobble and you're going to have a, a, a huge problem. So the fixture for that is, one, you can kind of grind that out a little bit. Um, let me see. Pressure and blue. Oh, yeah. Um, you also use pressure and blue on here to make, because you would have no idea, because you can't see in there. So you're going to put it on. So you put a pressure and blue around here and uh, verify that we have contact area, which is how much? 75%. 70, you gotta have a C. Um, rear cone bottoming is common, must be corrected. How would you correct that? Uh, I, yeah, you could. Where would you put the spacer? See, if you space it back here, you're just gonna move it forward, and that's not gonna solve your problem. If you space it down here, if it's the split type, you could space. That's not going to help, really. Um, you've, you've got to remove a little material here. Because to me, what's happened is some materials miss. So if you, you'd have to move a little material right there. But that's or change out your cone if your cones wore out. So just follow the manual, tell you what to do. But you have to make sure that you're actually getting contact right there. What would cause that? Is that a mismatch of parts? I think so. <laughs> yeah. All right front cone that's a little bit different so we get a front cone that has some space right in here so what's happening is we're locking this in the cones coming in and it's making contact right here with the spline and not making contact with the hub so this hub needs to move over to the right well how can we move the hub to the right shim it over here. So if you had shims right here, it's going to push this cone out. Pushing this cone out will push the whole hub to the right. Sorry, to the right. It's different for you. Hub to the right, and then that will push this away from the spline, which allows this cone to make contact. So let's see. Rear cone bottoming is common. It must be corrected. Front cone bottoming may happen if cone hits splines before it hits prop. If this happens, move cone to move rear cone forward. So move the rear cone forward. How do we move the rear cone forward? Shim it forward. All right. And those are manufactured shims or something that you make up? Good luck finding them anymore. Prop shops usually have stuff like that. Yeah, but finding shims can be difficult. But I would call the prop shop and say, hey, this is, my, this is what I got. That's, that's what they do. And then they'll tell you, well, we can't really get them, but because um, they're gonna be, you can probably get them. I just bought some shims, shims for mine. Uh, let's see. I can't write that for you because you know this isn't working. Yeah, you should have just wrote that on day one and it sat back down, huh? <laughs> Installation uses, nope, freezing. Push, it's not the computer. The computer's working fine. Maybe it's something in this. 